For the past two LEGO vacuum engine videos I've made, I've been trying to get the LEGO Briggs & Stratton engine to run off a vacuum. In part one, I was somewhat successful, but it ran really slow, and I knew there could be a lot of improvements made. So in part two, I made those improvements. However, the engine didn't want to run at all. I thought that was the end of it, until another LEGO engine YouTuber, XMyself, showed me this long duration cam design and suggested that I use it. So I got to work taking apart the engine and replacing the original cam with this long duration cam. The timing chain that I had installed in the last video was not strong enough and it would constantly break under the strain. So after lowering the crankshaft down one plate, I was able to get two 42 gears to mesh with each other. While testing after this, for some really odd reason, whenever the exhaust valve would close, it would pop off the top of the valve head and get sucked up by the vacuum. I don't really know why this happened, it only happened twice, but for a simple fix I decided to add a restrictor plate to the outside that would hopefully slow down the air just enough to where it wouldn't create so much pressure on the valve. Now, after two videos and hours of work, it runs again. However, it was still really slow, so with the help of XMyself, I decided to make a couple more modifications just to see if I could get some better performance. One thing he suggested was adding some more plates to the inside of the head and on top of the piston to lower the cylinder volume. After doing that, there was a noticeable bump in speed, and it seemed like it was running really good. Another small modification we made was reducing the stroke size. This seemed to run a little bit better than the first running test, but it was a little bit slower than the long stroke. After this, we started making a bunch of small modifications just to see what we could get. And we did get it running once more without the large flywheel, but I didn't get that on footage and it didn't run afterwards. We tried a ton of different versions, but nothing seemed to work. And yesterday, as of recording this video, somebody else recreated my engine and got it to seemingly run really well. And it was confusing both of us because we have no idea why this engine's not running faster. But running fast or not, I'm happy that I actually got it running again. I've learned a lot more about vacuum engines than I thought I would in this process, and hopefully I can apply this knowledge to future engines. So I want to give a big shout out to XMyself. You can check him out in the description. He's an awesome guy. He was super nice, willing to spend hours working with me trying to get this engine to run. He really knows what he's talking about for sure. And I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to watch all of the videos in order, there's a playlist in the description. You can watch all the videos in in this mini series and while you're down there be sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one